So we're up, driving, on our way to camp, holding to the back. Hi! Hey everyone, welcome to our next Team Thomas family update. This is the first time we're doing an update from camp. For this update, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, we thought the best way to show you what camp is like is to bring you along for the day. So Hopefully you like it. Yeah, we're just going to go right to the video diary and we'll see you at the end. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It's now 645 and we are on the road. I'm filming for now because Mitch is occupied, keeping his eyes on the road. Um, but yeah, I think we already explained it that for this last camp update, we're gonna do a, like, a little video diary and take you along to camp for the day. This is kind of like the day in the life. So we're up, driving, on our way to camp, holding from the back. So this is the Push the Rock van that Mitch uses every day to go to and from camp. Right now it's kind of empty because most of the equipment is at camp. <laughs> this is where Holden sits. Oh, hi, buddy. You've got banana and bagel all over you. He's still in his PJs. On these days, we just take him right out of bed. Hi. Uh -oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. Put him in the car seat, and then we drive. Each camp is over an hour, usually. Uh, sometimes an hour and a half. So we drive to camp and then. Mama. Yeah. Mama. You already finished it. Mama. Uh, and then we change him there, but got some of the equipment here and we're about to pull into camp any minute now. Alright, we just pulled up. We're at the church partner. Mitch already ran inside to get things going. <laughs> and now Holden and I just get ourselves out and Ready to go in for the day. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> no. Yeah. Hey, you're being goofy. Do you want to go to camp today? When it comes to competitive nature, Abby is way more competitive than Ethan. Yeah. So she's actually rating herself in way more. So yeah, I would say no, that I would be the determining yeah. factor. Yeah, All right, tell me what you're doing. Or not me. Tell them what you're tell doing. Tell me. <laughs> this is Mel. She was my intern for the summer. Hi, Mel. Hey, What's it like working for Mitch? Oh, I absolutely love it. He's you the know, worst. I, <laughs> no, I didn't want to say that, but I'm glad you did. Don't worry. I won't make you say the hard things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what are you doing, Mel? I am currently, so on my team, we, um, we give a Christian okay, character nice award, and the girl happens to be on my team, so what we do is we always do, like, a little note within, like, the book that we give them, and so I'm just writing that out. So. Nice. Yeah. Well said, Mel. Mitch, what's this stuff? What is this stuff? So, what Mel just described, this is an award that we give out called Christian, I don't know. Oh, that's all the Christian this character stuff? Christian character okay. Stuff. So the most important award that we give out, because we're highlighting a kid that has been displaying a Christ-like, help me <laughs> stay away, a Christ-like attitude all week, because we're all about explaining and helping them understand more about just going to win a game, but having integrity, character, all these things. So the winner of that is who displayed that this week. Nice. What's all this stuff? Our Play for Christ. So this is a contract that we have kids sign at all of our camps, where if they want to live out these things that says, like... <laughs> Kind of see what all those they have the option to sign it if they would like and then we give them a copy of it and yeah it's a one-year commitment so a lot of kids signed it this week i don't know how many cool benny's here What are you doing, Holden?
So Holden and I ducked out of the gym. There are just some times that he can't be in there because he's distracting or they're doing some game. Right now they're doing the sportsmanship thought, which you saw. And so as to not be a distraction, we will find a room and whatever the location is and we'll just kind of find a little space where we can come, Holden can play. And um, we pop in and out of camp to like see how things are going and get to be part of that. But it's nice to have a place to come when Holden just needs a break to play. So I'm gonna show you what he's doing. So this church happens to have a nursery that's open. And um, this is just really handy because we like to come and um, give him something to do that he's not distracting. So this is what we're doing right now. Hey, who's that? Hi, buddy. Who's that? Are you helping daddy? So all the kids are going to team time right now. And in the meantime, the staff, some of the staff are breaking down equipment as fast as they can to get ready for the second half of the day. So they have to do this before the kids come back from team time. This is our highly trained staff. All the equipment is stored in here. <laughs> and Push the Rocks equipment has already been taken out and loaded into the van because they're done with it for the week. So they did that this morning, but all the rest of it's stored in here. The stuff that belongs to the church. <laughs> Hello again, everyone. I have a quick second right now. The kids are playing wiffle ball. Um, it's a little loud out there, so I wanted to come in here just to steal away to get to tell you kind of what we're doing. So the parents are going to be coming in about probably an hour or so um, for our closing program. On Fridays, we have parents come. We get to play games with them, get, get a little taste of camp, and uh, we do a little award ceremony. So Leslie will probably get a little of that later. But right now, they're playing wiffle ball. Then we're going to play another fun game called Gold Rush, which is like a capture the flag. So you can probably tell by how much I'm sweating and how uh, tired I sound, how Fridays usually go. It's very exhausting, but... 
Um, it's a great part of our, our camp. It's usually a great time. The parents and the kids usually have a good time. So, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I'll give you a quick glimpse in there of uh, what it's looking like and what they're doing. They're having a lot of fun. It's been a great week. And, um, yeah, we're so grateful, like we said before, for your prayers and support. Um, you help us and allow us to be able to do what God's called us to do. And we thank you for helping make this summer great. So, again, we love you all. We thank you for all the support and the prayers. And uh, let's go give you a little glimpse of what's happening in the gym. Wiffle ball. Whoa. Hi, little sleepy buddy. Hi, sleepy mommy. <laughs> are starting to show up for our closing program. So they're just playing a game right now, and then we're gonna get the program going. program right now and the teams just left. Uh, they're gonna come in and do their team chant. You want a snack? And Holden's ready for a snack. So that's what's happening now. All the parents are here and the teams are gonna do their team chant and cheer. This is our fifth year. Fifth? Yeah maybe. Jordan and I have been doing this candy here for five years and every year I feel like it gets more and more exciting and it's awesome to see new families involved. Um, we can't do what we do without our faith on and off the field and on and off the court. We have the whatchamacallit cheesel.
such a great summer. We've had the chance to minister to about 400 kids, uh, around 10 locations we've had, uh, 17. 17 camps. It has been awesome. Definitely one of my favorite summers. I'm thankful for what God's uh, allowed us to do. You'll get more statistics about um, kind of what God's allowed us to do and what he's kind of done in the kids' lives uh, in another update. But yeah. If you scroll down for the update, you'll see pictures of like some family updates and also pictures and videos of other camps. Yeah. So... Thank you so much for your support. It's been a great summer. We appreciate the prayers. And the kids are coming, so we got to go. Bye. 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 Ha <laughs> ha